Hi Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just be mindful of that. Um, for those of you interested in the personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. Okay guys, um, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, um, feels like there's someone here that wants to communicate with you, there's someone here that wants to reach out, they want to connect, they've got something to say to you, but they're holding back, okay? They are trying to stay feeling connected with you by what seems to be, you know, by them sort of keeping tabs on you. This is someone who might be closely watching your social media, okay? Um, someone who's very closely watching what you post is very you know it's keeping up to date with this with your stories it could also be you maybe you're the one that's trying to stay uh, you know you're very curious by someone could be an ex could be someone that you've just had a bit of a falling out with it is someone that you're not necessarily in a connection with okay or if you are there's some sort of discord there so you guys are sort of watching each other from a distance um this is this person might also be wanting to connect with you on an energetic level so even though this person is afraid to reach out and speak to you because it feels like there's this nervous tense energy there might be possibly afraid of your reaction okay so this person wants to say something to you but they're afraid of how you might react or they want to communicate with you but they're not sure you know a little bit hesitant because they're not sure are you going to respond are you going to block them you know and that's going to be like a huge blow to their ego and this person is already um, feeling some type of way so you know hence their hesitancy but this person could be trying to communicate on an energetic level like telepathy so for instance you might be uh, thinking about them okay and then all of a sudden you you know their photo might just pop up on your phone or you know some they end up messaging you or someone might within you know a short amount of space you think about this individual and then your friend or someone might just randomly bring this person up in conversation so you know there's this they're trying to um, connect with you energetically here they're trying to um, because they're scared to do it okay they're scared to do it uh, you know verbally so this person's trying to reach you energetically Also, this week, be very careful that you don't end up on, there's a situation here, it could be a romantic situation, it could be at work, um, it, there's some sort of scenario that's playing out, but it feels like you're doing all the heavy lifting. So, you know, just make sure everyone's pulling their fair weight, okay? Uh, make sure you're not the one that's carrying this heavy load all on your own, okay? Because your back will break, Um it just feels like it's it's too heavy for one for one person um that could also mean for example it you know we could also take that to mean you could be there's a lot of i don't know secrets or there's a lot that you're you know a lot that you're harboring a lot that you're holding on to and you need someone to talk to okay you need someone to offload get it you need someone to you know you need to share with this person how you feel, whether it's a close connecting energy, whether it's, you know, someone who is a professional, like a therapist or a counsellor, uh, someone who's going to help you carry that load so you don't do it on your own. Speaking of loads, um, I just feel like uh, for some of you, not for all, but just watch if you are doing any heavy lifting, okay, at work or just anywhere around the house for that matter, just watch the way you pick up, okay, watch the way that you handle especially heavy objects, okay, just um, just to avoid any injury, okay, um, or even if you're like an athlete and uh, if you do, 
like training and you lift heavy weights just watch out for your back okay just make sure you're doing it correctly you're lifting correctly and make sure you're doing you know um, everything right by you um, I feel like this week there's something here that feels like you're tying up loose ends or it feels like you're getting closure around the situation or it feels like you might hear someone from the past there's a healing quality to the um, star card here so you might be able to you might hear someone you might hear from someone from the past and this might give you the closure that you've always needed in order to move on from this person or in order to move on from a situation okay uh, it feels like there's something here that happens this week it could be through a means of communication it could be I don't know through a sudden realization that just dawns on you uh, I don't know exactly how it's gonna come about for some of you but it's got to do with a past wound that is still very much raw and is still festering so you're going to be you're going to be encountering someone who might help you heal those wounds or something someone might say might be very healing and soothing to what feels like a painful uh, wo emotional wound you might even hear from someone in the past and this is someone who's always been you know this person has had all has always had this healing quality to them okay and just hearing from them might in itself be very therapeutic and healing there's some sort of delays as well that you're going to be experiencing this week and I feel like it's important for you to know that this delay is not um, like don't panic because I feel like this delay is purposeful okay um, when something is being delayed it's not because it's being denied to you it's being delayed to you for a reason and I feel like there's something here that's being paused for you but it's because the universe you know the universe has purposely orchestrated this de delay because you need to take a closer look at the situation before you proceed with it are you sure this is what you want to do are you making a mistake are you doing a choice sorry are you making a choice or a commitment that is in alignment with who you are in alignment with your vo morals with your values with your you know um, ethical code is this really what you want to do? Is this the only way to do it? So I feel like, you know, it's the reason why something isn't happening for you or the reason something is delayed for you because the universe is like asking you, are you sure this is what you want? Because if it's what you want, you can have it. But what if you, this isn't really what you want and you're just wasting your time with this individual or this thing, okay? Or what if you're only wanting this because you're scared of the other and you don't think you know you're deserving of the other so I feel like there's some questions here that you need to ask yourself and this is really this pause or delay is really um, a great opportunity for you to take a look at something and maybe redirect your path towards something or someone okay because it feels like you're being asked there's some sort of action that you're going to take suddenly you're going to take a second look at a situation or a second look at a person and go okay well you know this isn't what I want or you know there's something here that suddenly makes a little bit more sense and it's funny because had it not been for this delay you wouldn't have known different so it's really a blessing in disguise because suddenly delaying things means that I don't know you get to do a little bit more research or you get to find out more information so really this delay turns out to be a blessing in disguise um, also some of you are being asked to take action towards something um, you're doubting yourself you're hesitating you're holding yourself back uh, whether it's making a move towards someone whether it's taking action on something that you want and that you're aspiring towards but you're scared okay um, the only thing that's holding you back is you and you have been doing so for quite some time so take a look at what it is that's holding you back what it is that's stopping you from taking action are you scared are you feeling insecure do you feel not deserving so what's fueling this it's like this it's emotional paralysis perhaps it's this you know this fear okay and you're purposely maybe stalling you're the one that's probably stalling or 
delaying something because essentially there's something here that's driving this energy okay you don't it's not that you don't want it it just feels like for some reason you're holding yourself back and it just feels like whatever it is you can have it but you're getting in your own way and the six of cups energy i do feel like the past is going to play a very big um, role for you this week you might find yourself feeling very nostalgic some of you could be suffering from um, like nostalgic depression um, you know a lot of memories come flooding back you could be experiencing an, uh, a date or an anniversary of some sort that means something very special to you and with that it might bring back a lot of you know memories some are very fond and very happy others may be a little bit more sad or maybe that's just you longing to have you know those days back okay you longing to recreate a certain memory or a certain connection certain relationship with someone certain past uh, but I feel like the past is definitely going to be very big for you this week. Um, you might even hear from a past person. Could be a romantic energy. Could be a childhood friend. Could be you know someone from someone you used to work with. But I do feel like the past is going to come up in more than one ways for you this week. And you might be you might also be going back to someone or something from the past. You could be going back to a job that you used to work. For, a company that you used to work for you could go back to um, something that you used to do when you were a child and you used to love it and now you're trying to recreate those you know that enthousi that enthusiasm that excitement that passion you could be going back to something that you once did but then stopped and now you're looking to pick it back up again it could be a hobby it could be a career a job it could be a relationship as well going back to you know um, a past energy and you're trying to you know, revive a connection that you once had. Okay, guys, these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.